Hi, I'm Jimmy Chang, and we're here to talk about how to graph parabolas with the vertex and the intercepts. Now, depending on the form that the parabola will come in, you can find the vertex in a couple of ways, but the finding the intercepts are going to be pretty consistent. So let's just walk through the uh, steps on how to get there. Now, the vertex is always the very first thing that you should find because it kind of gives you an idea as to where the tip of the parabola is. Now, depending on the form, the parabola coordinates are going to be what's called h and k. h is the x coordinate, the k is going to be the y coordinate. Now, if you have the uh, po polynomial and you have want to find the vertex, then the x coordinate of the uh, vertex of the parabola can be thought of as negative b over 2a, that's the x coordinate, and the y coordinate can be thought of as f of negative b over 2a. All you're really doing here is you're plugging in the x coordinate to find the y coordinate of the vertex, the tip, if you will. Now, when it comes to the intercepts, you have the x intercept, and you also have the y intercepts. Now, the x intercepts, more often, sometimes you'll have two, sometimes you may not have any. So, but in any case, to find the x-intercept, you let y equals to zero, and then you solve for x. And then for the y-intercept, you let x equals to zero, and then you solve for y. Okay? So, depending on the situation, you may have one, both, depending on what the graph will look like. So you could have a situation where a graph could have two x-intercepts and a y-intercept, or you may have a situation where a graph will have a y-intercept but no x-intercepts at all. So it really depends on what the graph looks like. There's actually no specific criteria on what kind of intercepts a parabola will have. So I'm Jimmy Chang and that's an introduction on how to graph a parabola using vertex and intercepts.